Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an updated perfume collection video. I've done one of these before, but since then I have gotten a lot more fragrances and body mists, so most of my um, perfumes are, most of my fragrances are body mists. I have more of those than actual perfumes, but I will be showing both. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm going to start with my actual perfumes and then move into the body mists and all that stuff last. So the first one I've shown before in a video is my Roxy Love. I've had this one for such a long time and it's only a perfume that I like to use in the summer because it's a very summery fragrance and I'm not the best at describing scents. So I have my computer right next to me and I'm going to look up the um, perfume or the body mist and read the notes of the fragrance so you guys can know what it is. Um, but the notes in this one are citrus, florals, musky woods, and green tea. And when I smell this, it reminds me of the beach and summer and all of that. So it's something that I like to save and wear during that time. Next is one of my all-time favorite perfumes, and it's the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I absolutely love this fragrance. I don't even know how many times I've talked about it. It is so perfect. It just smells so amazing and the smell never will ever get old to me. I've had this bottle for quite some time and I really like to savor it because it is my favorite and it is very pricey. And the notes in this one are rose, apple, musk, and jasmine. And it's one of my favorites. I love it. And it's more of a perfume that I like to use all year round. It doesn't really have like a specific season that I like to wear it just because it's my favorite and I like to wear it whenever. Next is another perfume, and this is the Juicy Couture Peace, Love, and Juicy Couture, and this is the really tiny little bottle. Um, as you can see when I take the cap off, there's really not that much in here. And when I first got this, I really liked it. I was not, nothing like I had before. Um, you know, it smelled really different, but now, since I've had it for a while, I've kind of gotten sick of the fragrance um, or tired of it. And it's not that I don't like it. I think it smells good, but I've just gotten tired of it such a long time that it's kind of, you know, I want to move on. But the notes in this one are lemon tree blossom, sweet apple, black currant bud, jasmine, magnolia, malibu poppy, honeysuckle, linden blossom, or orset extract, hachulu flower, I don't know how to pronounce these, and musks. So the style of this fragrance is retro chic and floral. It smells really nice and I think that you could wear this one all year round. It's great for all seasons. Um, it doesn't really have a specific or anything that I can put my finger on that would really make it like a, um, you know, like a certain season of, of fragrance. I like to wear it all year round. The last two actual perfumes I have are both by Marc Jacobs and it's the Daisy and the Daisy Oh So Fresh. I just have the roller balls because they were the cheapest and as you can see I've had this one for a while and I haven't even used that much. This one I just got and I'm saving it for spring so yeah. I'm going to read the notes of the original Daisy first. So the notes are strawberry, violet leaves, ruby red grapefruit, gardenia, violet pearl petals, jasmine petals, musk, vanilla, and white woods. And this is a very spring summery fragrance, very floral. And the style of this is bright, alluring, and eternal. And I absolutely love the packaging on this. And um, this one I don't care for as much as the Oh So Fresh. This one's a little stronger and more florally and kind of older. And I like this one because it's um, a bit younger and it's a lot lighter. And it's just more me than the actual original so if I ever repurchase any of these it would be this in a fuller size. So now I'm going to read the notes in the Oh So Fresh. So the notes in this one are natural raspberry, grapefruit, pear, violet, wild rose, apple blossom, musk, cedarwood, plum, and the style of it is exhilarating, bubbly, and playful. And I absolutely love this one even though I haven't worn it yet. I've worn it like once when I first got it because I was so excited. Um, I'm saving it for the spring and I'm going to be obsessed with it and definitely getting the full size. So that is it for my actual perfumes. Now I'm going to move on into my body splashes and body... Okay, so the first one, I have a couple 
little travel size ones that I got because I've been starting to get these because I have a full size body mist of some other ones which I'll show a little later and I can't use them up. I've had them for such a long time and I just decided, you know what, I'll just get the mini ones and if I really, really like it then I'll get the full size but um, I just thought it would be smarter to get the minis and they're a lot cheaper. Um, so the first one I have here is Country Chic and it's from Bath & Body Works. I absolutely love this smell. Um, both of these are very summery and springtime, nothing like fall or wintery that I would ever wear. Um, Country Chic is a effortless blend of sparkling lemon, bright wildflowers, and spring woods inspired by the fresh air and natural beauty of America's countryside. countryside. And I really like this one. It smells very just clean air like it says. Um, it reminds me of sort of kind of like where I live because it's very country here. A lot of farms everywhere and I just like it because it reminds me of home. Um, and the next one is Carried Away. This one I really really like. Um, I think I like it a little bit more than Country Chic. It's a little bit more um, feminine than that one. And the notes in this one are a whimsical blend of lush raspberries, white jasmine, and whipped vanilla inspired by the way love sweeps you off your feet. So it's sort of florally and kind of just really pretty and nice and um, yeah I really like this one. So these are great for spring and summer and I would definitely, if you have a hard time with you know, using up bigger size, you know, fragrance mist from, you know, whatever, I would suggest getting the smallest size possible. That way you, you know, will actually use it up. Okay, so next is another fragrance from Bath & Body Works. And as you can see is the big size one. As you, I've had this one for a while and, you know, I haven't used that much, but I love, love, love this one. It's one of my favorite fragrances ever. It's Twilight Woods. It's the best smelling fragrance for like fall and winter. It's just so, mm, I love it. So I'm going to read the notes in case you don't get confused from my self trying to explain what this smells like. Okay, so um, it has like a whole bunch of different notes in here. So I'm not sure which ones I'm supposed to read. I guess I'll just read them all. Um, it says that the top notes are... Juicy berry, sparkling mandarin, and a hint of coconut. The mid notes are creamy frangipani, I don't know what that is. Soft mimosa, wet honeysuckle, wild freesia, and apricot nectar. And the dry notes are oud wood, musk, orris, vanilla milk, and warm woods. So it's a very like woodsy, musky smell, and it's perfect for the fall and winter. Absolutely love it, and... Yeah. Then the next wintry ball is Midnight Pomegranate, which is also from Bath & Body. So the top notes in this one are pomegranate, sparkling citrus, dewberry, anise, cinnamon, and nutmeg. The middle notes are cassis, blackberry, iris, jasmine, raspberry, and the dry notes are musk, sandalwood, vanilla, tobacco. Don't know why that would be in there. And patchouli. So that's for the Midnight Pomegranate, and um, it's not my favorite, but I do like it. I don't think I repurchase it just because I've had it for a while, and, you know, it smells nice, but, you know, I want to move on to different stuff. So I would definitely am going to use this up, but it's not something I would repurchase again right away. And the last one I have from Bath, Bath & Body Works is um, Coconut Mango. And this is a very summery fragrance. Nothing I would wear, you know, in the fall or winter. Um, so I'm going to read the notes for this one. Okay, so it says, Our exclusive coconut mango is a luscious blend of creamy coconut and exotic mango. So there you have it. Um, doesn't really say too much about the notes. I guess it's just coconut and mango, as it says. Very summery, very fruity, something I love for the summer. And yeah. Alright, so last I just have a few from Victoria's Secret, and I'll start with this one, which is my favorite. It is Victoria's Secret um, Bombshell. I absolutely love it. Um, 
very feminine, very girly, and I love, love, love this. And I'll read the notes for it. So it says, a glamorous blend of purple passion fruit, Shangri-La yellow peony, and vanilla orchid. So, you know, florally and sort of fruity. Very nice. I love it. And I will definitely repurchase a full size when this runs out. The next two are a couple ones that look like this. These are both very, um, this one's more wintry and this one's more summery. So I'm going to start with the summery one. It's Good Day Sunshine and it says Bright Peach and Blue Freesia. So I guess that's what this one smells like. So I don't really have to go and look for that on there because it's Bright Peach and Blue Freesia, I guess. So I like this one. Um... It's very not overpowering, not too fruity, not too florally, just a nice blend of both. And I think it's a really nice summery fragrance. And the next one is Room 504 and it says Sultry Amber and Passion Fruit. So also a really nice one for the fall and winter, which is what I use it for. And it's a little heavier than Good Day Sunshine. It's more like muskier smelling so that's why I would recommend it for the fall and winter and the last one I have to show you is Sexy Little Things Noir and it's another body mist and this one is very I think florally I'm going to read the notes in case you know I'm wrong okay so the notes in this one is an alluring blend of sparkling nectarine amber and catalily orchid catalea Catalea, I think it is. So it's um, florally and fruity. So there you go. I've had this one for a while. Um, probably wouldn't purchase it again because, you know, just want to move on, try other things. But I would go back to it because it is a very nice fragrance. And this one I like to use all year round. It doesn't really have a specific um, time of year that I like to wear. I just wear it whenever. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, you know, maybe go out and try some of these fragrances to see if they, you know, you would like them. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.